Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Springfield St. Victor. Let's get right into the first 30 second breakdown. That's where in the first 30 seconds, give or take, I give you guys my exact thoughts on this product before we get into the full review. That way you can just stop watching because now you know exactly what I think about this product or you can continue watching and find out why I say those things in greater detail and it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate that. So with the Springfield Saint, this gun actually really surprised me. For the price tag of $1,100, give or take where you go, uh, this gun has a lot of really nice features, comes with pretty much everything you're gonna need right out of the box, like iron sights, enhanced trigger, all really nice furniture that you're not just going to replace eventually anyway, uh, like a lot of guns come with. Uh, a full M-Lock handguard, the only complaint with that is there's no pick rail on top, but this gun really does have a solid package for a good price. I've had zero malfunctions with this gun and I've been able to shoot consistently up to 300 yards, so accuracy I've had no issues. Really the only downfalls that I have found is I don't like the muzzle device, which we'll talk about a little later, and then like I said, the top of the handguard, I wish there was pick rail to be able to mount more accessories tape switches and things like that but we worked around that here with the weld tool and it's a clicky cap so uh, we worked around it and it worked just fine but for the price and what you're getting this gun has been really good so now let's get into my relationship with Springfield they did send me this gun I did not spend my own money on it now with that out of the way let's get right into the full review and go over the more details of what I think about this gun so like I said in the 30 second breakdown this gun out of the box comes with pretty much everything you're going to need and for the price tag of $1,100 again give or take depending where you find this you might be able to find a little cheaper I think that is a really good deal they have really solid iron sights I took one off here though because I have a magnifier uh, but I used the iron sights originally when I first got it the handguard is really nice you have 15 inches of M lock and accessibility the only downfall being the fact that I wish they would put a pick rail here on top because I like to have tape switches. I like to be able to have options up here on the top rail. So I'm not really a big fan of the choice they went with that, but the handguard itself does feel super comfortable. So if I was somebody that didn't want to add tape switches or was really comfortable with this setup, I would like this handguard because I think it is sleek and it is comfortable to shoot. You also have an enhanced trigger, which isn't something that's going to compare to like your Geisleys that are a really high end trigger, but it is definitely better than mil spec. And then it actually has furniture that is usable that you're not just going to replace. And uh, I can't emphasize this enough because there's a lot of companies that will come out there with a decent rifle around that mark and it's like okay that rifle's cool but I'm gonna change out the grip I'm gonna change out the stock I'm gonna probably change out the handguard I'm gonna change out there's so many things you already think of changing this gun to me comes out of the box really ready to go with everything that I would like. I like the stock on this. I really like the grips on this. The trigger I'm not going to replace. The only thing I did change is the charging handle because I do like extended charging handles, um, but not a lot of your mid-range price range guns are going to come with a fancy charging handle. Uh, so that's something you can definitely change on your own, but you can stick with the stock charging handle. You'll have no problems. And then it comes with iron sights, which is really nice. And they are decent iron sights. They're not plastic. They're metal. They flip up. Now, are they going to beat out a good optic setup? Absolutely not. But if you are somebody that is wanting a gun out of the box ready to go and not spend any more than a thousand dollar mark then this might be a really good option for you because of everything that already comes with it and then later you can add the optics you want to and the flashlights and anything else you might want to add to it now another thing that i noticed that this comes with out of the box is a qd end plate i really like that because it gives you options outside of your stock to be able to mount your slings sometimes i do mount my slings there i decided to mount it here on my stock just because i like the way it was set up you do have to buy something up here front to add if you want a, a two-point sling but it does at least come with an end plate so you don't have to take your gun apart when you get it and throw an end plate on there if that's the option you want it's something super simple that you can just do from factory uh, and they can do all the staking and properly make sure this is set up and so you don't have to take it apart and put it back together with the one you want. So it is nice to see that they add that even if you don't use it. So now let's go over the fit, finish, and look of this rifle. So this isn't really any different than your normal AR-15 look-wise. I did notice a couple little things like the cutout here in the handguard to fit your dust cover rod and how it comes over the actual upper receiver and a couple of things like this. Just little aesthetic things that I noticed that they did that do make the gun look nice. So now for the fit. It does have a small amount of wobble in between the upper and lower receiver, but honestly not that much. It is pretty consistent with any other type of guns in this price range that I have tested. So now let's talk about the finish. As you guys know, I do not baby my guns. They are tools and I treat them as such. So I lay them in the stones, throw them in the bed of the truck when I transport them and other simple things like that. And the testing that I have done, I've not noticed any scratches, marks, gouges into uh, the finish itself. So the finish is holding up well. 
So now let's go over how this gun actually functions because that is a very important part of a rifle, especially if you're going to be getting this for a patrol rifle or home defense or something to defend your life other than just a plinking gun. So this gun has had zero malfunctions. I've never had any kind of issues with it. Right out of the box, since I've had it, I have been shooting steel case, I've been shooting brass, a lot of different types of ammo, and I've not had any issues with it. I've been able to shoot up to 300 yards consistently. Uh, and I've been so far really happy with how it functions. It feels good, uh, has a really light recoil because of the compensator. I'm not a giant fan of that, which we'll talk about here in a second, um, but the gun itself feels and shoots really well. So with the compensator, I do not really like this out of the box just because me personally, it's something that I would change if this was a gun that I'm gonna be using for patrol rifle or home defense. I am not using it for that, so I'm gonna keep it probably, but if it was something I was buying it for out of the package, I would probably end up replacing that. So what I would like to see them offer uh, along with the top pick rail here is maybe some options on the website. Because I know they have options for the furniture, you could change those a little bit. But what I'd like to see is them be able to, uh, even just a simple birdcage I'd rather have than this, because I'm not a big fan of compensators for home defense uh, or like duty use. So I would like to see a uh, maybe a flash hider or a simple birdcage as an option to switch out and then an option to actually put the pick rail on top here for those of you that really want to run your tape switches or your IR devices or anything else you want to run on top. I think if they added that, even if it was for a smaller fee, uh, an extra price, I think it would be worth it because uh, for those of you that don't want to change those things or just you really, really want this out of the package to work for you at exactly what you want it, uh, I think that would be the best option. Because I noticed that their 10 and a half inch comes with the pick rail on top. So it's the same handguard except it has the pick rail. So I'd really like to see that as an option uh, later down the road for this to be able to come with the full handguard and uh, different options for your muzzle device. But other than that, I think Springfield did a really good job with this gun. I'm really happy that they kept it around that $1,000 price range uh, because for me, I get the most questions is what can I build for $1,000? It seems to be everybody's price range is that $1,000 mark. Uh, and this is definitely one of those guns that I would tell people, hey, you know, if you're looking for a thousand bucks, this is a pretty good setup to go with. Uh, obviously you're not gonna have optics and flashlights and extended charging handles yet. You'll have to add those later down the road, but for just a thousand bucks out of the box, this is a really good gun. So hopefully this video was able to help you make a better decision if this is a gun that you would like to buy or maybe it's something that you wanna pass on and there's a better option out there on the market for you. That is always my goal is to be able to help you make a better purchase decision. Don't ever wanna sway your decision one way. I just try to go out, test the product, give you guys my opinion and the things that I found and what I think about it and help you make a better decision. So with all that being said, if you guys wanna help out the channel and the things I do here, there's a couple of ways to do that down in the description. Those things help out. There's also a link to my website. A couple of companies that support me are Howitzer and Brownells. Howitzer is a clothing company that donates 5% of proceeds to charity and they make fantastic clothing. Pretty much the only thing that I wear, as you guys can tell from my videos. And then Brownells shows a lot of support to me as well and I really appreciate them. Uh, so thank you to those companies. If you guys are interested in some other parts on this gun, I have a review on these. If you guys would like to see those, go ahead and click the link one here or there. There's also a review video that I just did here on the Well Tool. Uh, this thing's actually pretty cool. It's like a lightsaber, super far beam. I think it's like 600 yards this beam goes, uh, but there's a review on that one as well. If you guys would like to take a look at that, I am currently testing the Aero Precision charging handle, so there will be a review on that later. But other than that, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all.